right, so we're doing something that I try to never do anymore, not since the early days of this channel, is bring you into this pit of despair I call my shop, where the lighting is poor, it's a mess everywhere. Of course, the, I think you're seeing a theme with this entire property here. It's a mess everywhere, but anyway, this is where my little benchtop Delta 1-inch wide grinder is, or belt grinder, so we've got our draw knife. You guys saw it on the last on the last video. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to kind of do a really good rough shaping on this. Now there's a little twist in it that I will have to take out when I start the heat treating process, but that's easy enough to deal with. But right now I just kind of want to get the final shape of it and get a bevel on here, get the hammer marks out of where the bevel is. I'll probably leave a lot of the hammer marks on top of it and kind of adds to the look of the tool, but get the reins kind of where I want them. I've got to even this I want to even up with this side so we're going to do something a little different there. We're probably going to grind that back a nice little you'll see, you'll see, but we're going to spend a little time here doing this. I'm going to run the camera and uh, we don't have too much farther to go on this. The big step after this is definitely going to be the heat treatment and that's going to be a little bit harder to do out in the yard, but 1080 steel is a very forgiving steel for heat treating, so it's not too bad. We're gonna, but we'll get into all that when we get to it. So anyway, stay tuned. I will catch you on the other side of it. When the morning standing at your door. Alright, well we could do a time lapse for the next 20 hours of me grinding on this thing, but uh, right now I'm trying to true up the back. I've kind of got the bevel started here. A lot of these hammer marks up here I'm going to be leaving in because I like the look. Same thing with on the, uh, the spine. I like that look, but uh, it's taking shape. It's getting there. The reins I'll, I'll grind off and make them all the same size. Probably what I should have done. I probably should have spent a little more time uh, forging this, you know what I mean? But I was kind of excited just to get on the grinder and get it going. I'm only using a, an old one inch delta belt grinder and uh, it works alright. It's a slow boat to China though. I'm running 80 grit paper on it but um, I've got quite a ways to go to true this thing up on the back side. Eventually I'd like to get a big two inch grinder but that's a ways down the road. Those things do not come cheap but uh, anyway I know this is more of a this is kind of more of an update. Let you guys know that I'm still alive. It's been uh, 
I've been having to get out of the house pretty early the last week, so it's been kind of hard to get any stay up late and get any uh, editing and stuff done because uh, my body just tells me it's time to get some sleep. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep going, and also we've got the edge right there kind of laid out. <coughs> now this part, this is going to get ground back some. And this is going to get ground back to about there, and they're going to be even off of the reins. So that'll be good, but this is a good wide one so we can get on some logs with it. You get the regular narrow ones where your hands are kind of back here, and the cutting edge is a lot narrower. <coughs> Excuse me. When your cutting edge is a lot narrower and your reins are bent back, you have a tendency to drag your knuckles on the bark and... Uh, any of you who have done that and took some skin off in the process, that's no fun. But anyway, long ways to go with this, but we're getting there. Hopefully we should finish this up this weekend. we got to do the heat treat and all that yet. I did anneal it, so basically get it up uh, yeah, about, what was it, 14, 25, a little bit higher, 1,500, somewhere in there. And then just let it air cool. What I probably should have done, and it would probably make my grinding a lot easier, I probably should have put it in a pail of ash or, you know, some people use cat litter, some people use perlite or vermiculite. I probably should have done that to let it cool down a little bit slower, and it would have made this a little bit softer. Probably would have been, the grinding probably would have been a lot faster on it, but we'll know for the next one. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this grinding music video, and, uh, and I know, Thomas Russell, that probably means a little something different to you. But uh, anyway, we're going to keep going on it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.